Honda Save Mart 350 from the Infineon Raceway in Sonoma, California is brought to you by Subway Restaurants, Subway Fresh, by FedEx, every day is race day, by DirecTV, ride shotgun on race day with NASCAR Hot Pass only on DirecTV, and by Miller Lite, for an award-winning taste, there's no debate, Miller Lite, good call. A good call by the 42 crew. They got Juan Pablo Montoya, his first win in his 17th NASCAR Nextel Cup Series start. Lindsay Zarniak. I'm here with Donnie Wingo, crew chief for Juan Pablo Montoya. Considering how this weekend started for you guys, qualifying so poorly, Donnie, how good does this feel for you? I mean, it feels really good. You know, not for just the Texaco Hamlin team. I mean, with all their support, we couldn't do this, but the whole organization, you know. It's been a long time coming. We've had a few seconds, but finally to get a win for this whole group of people is great. You know, everybody back at the shop has been really working hard, and we've been struggling a little bit lately, but nobody's given up. And to leave here with a win, to finally get a win for those guys, it just makes me feel good to be a part of it. You told me he's a special driver, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean, no, definitely. I mean, you know, we qualified bad, but we had a really good car in practice. You know, we just kind of missed it a little bit qualifying. And so today we had to play a little bit of catch up. So we had to take a gamble there at the end. And, and we made our last stop. And just he just saved, he saved enough fuel to make it because, I mean, we had it figured to be like a lap short. So he did a good job saving fuel. Everybody did a good job on stops. And Motor Shop did a great job. I mean, without the fuel mods, we never would have made it. Donnie Wingo helps Juan Pablo Montoya find his first victory in the next L Cup. Bill? Thanks, Lindsay. Toyota would like to congratulate Juan Pablo Montoya for winning today's Toyota Save Mart 350. He's in victory lane, and so is Marty Snyder. Well, the first report to him was that he was about three laps short on fuel. The second report to him was that he was two laps short on fuel, and at the end they said, you know what, you're only about one lap short. I think you should go for it. Juan Montoya, 31-year-old Colombian native, wins in the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. How about that? How'd you save all that fuel? I think it was the work, the work on the team. You know, yesterday we leaned the car out, we leaned the car out, and, and I had a lot of problems getting out in first year out of two herpins, but, you know, it paid off. What was the emotion like in the car? Were you worried about the fuel there on the final few laps? I knew it was going to be close, and I said, you know, save as much as you can, and, and if it is, it is, and, and we did a good job. Tell me about your pass on McMurray. It looked awfully smooth. Did it feel as smooth as it looked? Yeah, I had a good run, and I thought, you know, kind of outbreak him in all the hairpins because he's very easy to break, so that was the best place. You act like you've been here before. Oh, uh, 15 years ago. <laughs> but, I mean, it means a lot, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I get my first next little cup with my Texaco Havlin Dutch and all Chip Ganassi. It's, it's huge. All right, guys, he does it on fuel mileage. Juan Pablo saves it in the end, gets his first ever Nextel Cup Series win. Bill. Thanks, Marty. First car of tomorrow win for a make other than Chevy. Celebration in victory lane about to begin. And Juan celebrating in the car. Good job, buddy. Good job, driver. Good job, everybody. Good job, Rudy. Good job, photo guys. The fans came out and saw a wild race here in Sonoma, and Juan Pablo Montoya gets his first Nextel Cup Series win. Pretty impressive, really, is that for the whole team. The team did a good job. I don't know. I mean, they snookered us. We thought they were running out of fuel. I think so did Kevin Harvick. Yeah, I think team. he did too. But uh, Juan ran a really good race. It was great calls and. They're where they want to be. And congratulations to his uh, car owner, Chip Ganassi. Let's go down to Mark and Larry. All right, Bill, you heard you heard Juan Pablo say that he was, uh, it was about 15 years ago that he was out here. When he was 16 years old, a racing school here at Sonoma, the last time he was on the track before this year. Hey, for the kids at home who like NASCAR, if this doesn't teach you to study your math, nothing will. This really came down to one big math problem, didn't well, it? it did, Mark. And what's interesting is the only Chevrolets that looked like they were getting decent mileage, and they could make this race two stops were the children's cars they ended up finishing second third fourth but i'm happy for donnie wingo because in an age when a lot of engineering's coming in here donnie wingo like old larry mack he's old school when a good handling race car and this won the race today and the only thing more impressive than uh, getting all the fuel they got out of that 42 car is you getting all you got out of your voice today good work that's all appreciate it that's all you got all right it's all we got let's get it down to matt yokum who's with kevin harvick matt 
for the first time since the spring, Kevin Harvick scores a top five finish, and you're just talking things over with Ty Barrier. How tough to try to hold back to conserve a little bit of fuel? Well, our whole Shell Pennzoil team did a great job today, and and Don and Chevrolet. But um, you know, I we knew we were close, and he came on the radio. Todd did, and just said, "Hey, you got 20 laps. Give me one." So I let the 42 go, and and uh, really felt like I saved a lot of gas, and just tried to stay in front of the uh, five and the 99, just just fast enough to do that, and. Um, just uh, might, maybe we saved enough, so that's that's what we had to do. So you always want to win, but in, in a big picture, that was what we had to do. A year ago, at Watkins Glen, he went to your lane. Today, he finishes second here at Infinia. Well, Jeff Burton, that's a hard-earned third place, considering you had major suspension problems and everything this weekend. What was the difference in you getting this car to the finish today in the third? Uh, fuel mileage. I mean, obviously, we, we uh, worked really hard, you know, all last year and this year on fuel mileage, and and uh, you know that's huge at these places, and it paid off for us today. We had a good car. I mean, we had a we certainly had a top ten car. We we um, got really really loose the second run and really tight the third run. The first run we were really good, but uh, good run for us. We ran competitive all day. Um, I spent. A couple days last, a couple weeks ago at the uh, Kevin Harvick Institute of Road Course Driving, and that helped me a lot. I got my degree and everything. It uh, didn't cost a whole lot either. It was pretty, pretty cheap. Anybody looking to go? Jeff Gordon was able to go from 41st to 7th. Jeff, how would you feel about your run today? I know it was a great run. You know, I thought Steve Letard, all the guys on the DuPont Chevrolet, just called this race perfectly to come from that far back inside the top 10. We had a great car. Um, you know, once we got into some clean air and could make some, some good lap times, um, you know, uh, you, you, we played the strategy the best way we possibly could. We had some, some cautions fall our way, which was a good fortune for us uh, to gain some spots. But, you know, those guys were able to make it all the way. We, we just weren't. And uh, we had to come in and get a splash and go. And it was fun racing with Tony. You know, uh, I think he's one of the greats out here. And, and uh, you know, I don't mind if we bump and bang every once in a while. As long as we don't crash. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it was fun, you know, to be able to, to come from that far back. I'll tell you what. It was tough. I mean, I, I thought there for a few times I wasn't going to be passing any cars. I just couldn't make any passes. And early on, we were real tight, and we finally got the car freed up, and that helped us. And for the first time, Jeff Gordon gets to go home to his baby girl, Bill. Thanks, Lindsay. Take a look at the unofficial point standings after today's race. And, of course, the big news this week will be what NASCAR decides to do with the 24 and 48 teams after they failed inspection here on Friday. That news expected to come Monday or Tuesday from NASCAR. You see Junior hangs on to the 12th spot. And you see McMurray there, 14th. Now, he wound up finishing 37th. Boy, that top two or three finish would have really helped him. And Robbie Gordon points. and Robbie Gordon led 48 laps, had a disappointing finish. Next week, it's NASCAR Next Stock Cup Racing from Loudoun. Join us on Sunday. Coverage begins at 1 Eastern with NASCAR on TNT Live, followed by the All-State Countdown to Green, and then the race from New Hampshire International Speedway. Coming up next, in the East, Robert Redford in the last. Castle is next. And out west, the Chronicles of Riddick next on TNT. Juan Pablo Montoya gets his first NASCAR Next Hell Cup Series win on the road course at Sonoma. So long from California.